So I have done a little bit of grinding in yet another Zombie Survivors and we finally have the Medic class available to play. I also went through and got her to rank 2 so she gets those upgrades and I tested one of them and they're really really fun. So the Medic is ranged support, low damage, strong healing. We're going to jump into Isolated City on a default run and we're going to see exactly what this character is all about. Here we go. So... If we try and find the first few zombies, she starts with a handgun and it doesn't deal that much damage. She is a really, really low damage character. But I want to get straight to the upgrades that you unlock when you get to rank 2. So let's try and do that. She really does not have a lot of damage. But the good thing is, we start with 10 health regen. She has an upgrade to get an extra two per second and has got five tiers. So just through upgrading this character, we can get an extra 10 health regen. So it'll put us up to 20, but she also has a bonus of, uh, if you look at the health bonuses, 150%. So uh, yeah, we're getting an extra 50% from this character. So basically, already at the start, because we've fully maxed out our like actual upgrade for the team level and stuff, we're getting 15 per second. So the moment we get PhD maxed, we're getting 30 health come back every single second. But we're going to do the handgun because that's what the abilities are for when you hit rank 2. So if I get hit by a couple of zombies, look at the state of the health regen. 15 per second. However, I feel the medic is probably not best as a team leader. I think start with more damage and get the medic in possibly even as your last survivor. So the handgun goes to a syringe gun. It's got an anti-undead serum directly, like you get to fire it at the undead. So with this one, you fire this pink serum stuff and it explodes on the zombies and then it deals damage to the zombies around it. So it's okay, like it's really, really good for AOE, but the damage isn't too high. But what we're going to do is work our way round. We're going to go grab the yellow crate, which is all the way up here in this corner. There are so many zombies already. And if we were doing endless in 15 seconds, we would have a boss here already. That's why I don't think the medic is a good starting uh, character. So I, I could get one of those, but I don't need the max health. And the rerolls I'm not too bothered about. So we're going to go weapon damage. That's perfect. So we've got the final upgrade for the syringe gun. And then we move on to the thing that I really, really like. So we try and just stick around the outside of the horde. And grab the XP when possible. There's quite a bunch of it in the middle. And I was, oh, like, obviously I've just taken a few hundreds uh, damage. But we're going to heal very, very quickly. So you can take freezing flasks, enhance your syringe gun into freezing flasks. But I like antidote because it helps like it basically does the same thing the syringe gun does but it's a lot better so look at this we just chuck out these little flasks and they just deal like ticking damage to the zombies so we can upgrade them to get fire rate or damage per second but i'm going to go with the katana i'll leave them at base level if i can up until we get a thousand cuts let's keep going around let's grab all our xp get those level ups and i'm going to go with the antidote flasks I wasn't going to, but if it's the only thing there based on the main weapons of the survivors, then I might as well grab it. And we've got our other survivor coming in now. So we grab the yellow crate first. This butcher needs to leave us alone. And um, we've got another level, which we're going to just max out the antidote flasks. Because they're not going to pop up anymore now. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to take PhD for this one. We're going to get a decent amount of crit damage. I'm going to banish uh, pro crit. I like it, but we get a decent amount of crits. It is really, really helpful, but I want the I want to level up the katana realistically. I'll just take the shuriken for now. I'm not taking kunai dance. Uh, I'll recycle those just to get some XP and money. Okay, so we've got a weapon upgrade. I mean, it's not the katana, it's the pistol. But it still increases the fire rate, which is going to help us out. And we're at max HP, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's grab this yellow crate up here. Currently level 16. 
And we're going to grab Vampire Survivor level 2 because that's extra life still. And this run's going to be all about healing over dealing a lot of weapon damage. So we deal as much damage as we can, but our primary focus is the healing stuff. So I, I don't want any... I'll take PhD. And if you look at our health, we're getting the, uh, the normal regen. But if we get a hit, you'll see that we've, we've got a little bit of life still as well. If you look for the red numbers, so there was a couple of health back. And I think the life steal is really, really helpful as well. And there we go. What we're going to take is the apple for extra health bonuses. So our regen is now on about 21 per second. Oh, there we go. Fly swarms here. Right, look at our HP. 1093. 1130-odds. 11, look how fast that's going back up. It is so, so good. Oh, we've been given the SMG for the SWAT dude. Our health regens are 16, but we get 75% on top of that. So it's uh, it's crazy, crazy health regen. And the life still gets increased as well. Come on, we need to take the beast down. Come on, beast. Down you go. There we go, red gem. Thank you. And we're going to upgrade the katana. Go over the yellow crate over here. We're 10 minutes into this run. See, it's quite a risky game to play, like using the medic as your team leader, because you've really got to rely on the health regen. I would try and get the team upgrade to the one in the main menu. I'd try and get that maxed so that you're starting the game with 15. And we're going to take the skill damage 10%. So that's going to buff up our shurikens a little bit. We're almost at uh, level 28. Another SOS. That's good. Let's run over here and grab that. We've got super speed, so we'll get there faster. And there we go. Sit on top of this. And we've got PhD again. We'll take that. Right, come on, Fly Swarm. You've got to go. Uh, PhD final level. So we're up to 20 uh, regen. But look at that. We're actually going up like 35 per second without any life still because we've got the 75% bonus. See, but the thing you can do with this character, you wouldn't do it with any other character. But look, I can run straight into the horde, lose a couple of hundred health, and just look how fast it comes back. It's ridiculous, the health regen. I absolutely love it. Like, we are back to full already. So we just passed 14 minutes into this run. We've got a magnet up here which will pull all the XP. I don't think there's going to be a lot, but it's going to pull all of it to us. Okay, there was a level up. Katana splash level up. Thank you. I need that. And we've got the final Katana splash upgrade. So next upgrade. And we go to 1,000 cuts. Perfect. So now we've got some nice damage because 1,000 cuts are so powerful, especially in late game. We're not going to get hit as much now because 1,000 cuts are so good. It'd be nice if we could get a couple of upgrades for it. Like, max it out. Come on, beast. What you got? Come on, beast. What you got? We're taking some hits. I do need to be careful at some point. I can't be too over the top with the risk. Especially when we've got fly swarming here somewhere. Yellow crate, which we're going to go grab. Oh, we got an upgrade for 1,000 cuts, did we? I will take that. Thank you very much. And let's keep going around the edge. We're at 18 minutes now. Let's finish off that butcher if we can. We did a bunch of blue gems. And these enemies are not going to be a problem at all. So there's a level up. Uh, we'll max out Shuriken. Why not? Look at our health regen. That is silly. Silly, silly, silly. But for an endless run, that's about, I'd say, what you need for survival, if not even more. Because endless is crazy. This is just default. Can we grab this? It's not worth it, but... Oh, there we go. Maxed out 1,000 cuts. We have 10 seconds left. Because as soon as you... Like, even though it carries on for 10 seconds... When you hit 20 minutes, they can't attack you anymore. So we'll happily take the damage off the bosses there. And there we go. They can't hit us anymore. So that's a run complete. 
And that's with the medic as the team leader. So, that's a 37.57 kills. And normally you get about 4.5 to 5,000. And if we look at the damage, we got SWAT 400, Ghost 600, Medic 200. The antidote flasks are really helpful. But it's not that much damage. And you think about Ghost and SWAT, we didn't pick them up until quite late. Their upgrades weren't high. Like, we didn't get the assault rifle for SWAT. It took us ages to get 1,000 cuts for Ghost. We've got 7 training points. So we are up to 18 training points. So I can max out the uh, crit chance. So that's 15% there. And I've got 5 points left. I'll just put them into ability cooldown. You'll see there, leader perk increases all health bonuses by 50%. So if you've got 10 HP regen, you're starting the game with 15. And that's per second. And then with PhD max level, that takes you up to 30 per second. So you can afford to take a hit every now and then. I still need to kill 13,000 zombies with Medic as the leader to unlock that last upgrade. Like, well, currently, because it says coming soon for the bottom rank. And I think Medic is a really, really good survivor. Like, really, really good. But there is such low damage, I would not start a run. Like, if I was doing Endless... I ain't starting with a medic. Absolutely no way. I would highly recommend starting with Ghost. I think Ghost has a strong start as well as a strong late game. And I would take Ghost. I would level up to 1,000 cuts. I'd get like maybe even just the beginning level for it. Then my first survivor would probably be Tank or Huntress. Tank if you're wanting the extra health. Huntress if you want that crit chance because when she's rank 2 you get 5%. And then I would take Medic as the last survivor just to grab PhD for the later game. I wouldn't worry about the antidote flasks. They don't deal that much damage. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.